There's a lot of specific research that goes into all of the projects, all of them, before they get distilled into their essential elements of color, form, and sound. While the texts are really key to my deeper understanding of the material, they're not necessarily written into the script as didactic forms or markers. I'd say the philosophical investigations become another connection to what's already embedded on the screen or in the, what's embedded in the symbolic characters I create. So the theory doesn't come first for me. It may support or rub against some of the poetic ideas I'm already working with, but the materiality, or rather the visual aesthetics, are really what leads the way for me. Irma Vap has been investigated by a handful of French film theorists. And of course, it's easy to link her to Freud's castration theory, but I think we all know that Freud felt that women were morally inferior to men. I mean, essentially, he was a misogynist through and through, and I think any feminist film scholar worth her weight doesn't put much weight into the words of Freud. So where Aileen Sisu comes in, uh, she's really interesting and great because she exposes Freud's theory and exposes it as simply a storyline that, uh, I believe in her words, she says, effectively erases women and prescribes desire within a limited heteronormative paradigm. So, you know, this brings up another thing, thinking about people who have used Irma Vep in the past, and she's, uh, you know, a lot of filmmakers, playwrights have used this character. Uh, in the early 90s, Olivier Assayas made a film called Irma Vap, which is about a making of a film, a remaking of the film Les Vampires, and his lead character, who's portraying Irma Vap, is played by Maggie Chung. And somewhere in the film, Maggie states that Irma Vap, during her research, she's discovered that Irma Vap has no morals. And I think this is really key, and I, and I argue with this because I think that perhaps really what her real crime is, is that she has no stake in the patriarchy, and that her morality is written by her own queer outlaw identity. And I mean that in the broadest of terms. So Irma Vep really functions as an ongoing figure of uncertainty who defies all patriarchal logic.